This is the this is the elbow motion that the Wailea teaches, and this thing, where they're hitting down below net level, it's impossible to get good timing like that. And so, watch, you guys. The quieter your hands, the better you are on your volley. Everybody, write that down. Quiet hands, aggressive feet. So, Jock's backhand volley looks like this. Look. Can you see how he's got the elbow? <laughs> Here's Jock's ball. Instead of the shoulder, look, Jock. Instead of the shoulder hinge. See the difference? Mm -hmm. And here's Ali's volley. Here's Ali's volley. Okay. And here's Sansia's volley. See how she steps first? Okay. And Steffi's had a lot of private lessons on her volley, so she's got things kind of figured out. Steffi, elbow right here on your backhand volley. Steph, elbow right here on your backhand volley. And not there. Here. Okay. All right. Okay, so every lesson, we're going to shadow drill footwork. And so let's come on up. We're going to do ground stroke footwork, then volley footwork. And what is the goal of shadow drill, Allie? How does the body retain information? How does your body learn a new swing pattern or a new footwork? Okay, but even deeper than that, what happened? What controls everything? Where's the control center? The brain. The brain sends a signal to where? Your body, your muscles. That's right. And when you're learning a new signal, let's say this is your signal, Allie, and now you're learning a new signal, do you go back and forth between the old and the new signal? Take a guess. Yeah, you do. Until you've done it enough times, until the new signal takes over, and then that's called signature signal. Everybody say that. Signature signal. That's right. Now the signature signal will still break down under pressure, so I call it the signature signature signal that doesn't break down under pressure. And so what I'm teaching you with these footwork sequences is I'm going in slow motion so that your brain can send the signal to your body. And all the footwork patterns so that your brain starts to, starts to get that signal to the muscle. And if we repeat it enough, every lesson, then your brain's going to be able to send that signal in your practice and then in your match play. And the footwork's so important. If we don't get that right, then well, especially where you guys are. You guys, if the hands are working, we got we got the hands doing what we want to do. Now we got to get the feet doing what they're supposed to be doing. So every lesson, we're going to shadow drill the footwork sequences. And we're going to start with that right now. So you guys grab your rabbits. Come on out. Yep. You sure can. Okay, come on out here, guys. Strokes. I want the ball right in this range every time. Okay. Any questions about anything? Okay, so, um, Allie, you and Steph are on that court. You guys are playing a game to 11, down or sideways? Yeah. Totally level, aren't they? There's good balance. Okay. What does the left hand do? Look at the left hand. Everybody see how the left hand's fully extended? Steph? Mm -hmm. yeah. So you're not like this. See how it's fully extended? Mm -hmm. Almost every pro's like that. Now when these this arm goes extended, these muscles load more power. Energy stored, energy released. Okay. And how does the elbow finish at the end of the stroke? High. 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 Exactly. And um, is the racket over the shoulder or on the side of the shoulder? Oh, side of the shoulder or over the shoulder? Side. Side. side which means he's going to produce more topspin. The lower his racket finishes down here, the more topspin he produces. The higher his racket finishes, the flatter his shot is. So when I go like this and finish on the hip, my, I'm hitting massive spin. If I'm finishing higher, I'm hitting less spin. Okay, that's what, so elbow up. And if you finished in this range around the shoulder alley, it'd be better than finishing all the way down here on the hip. Okay. And, wow. Um, he's hitting open stance there, wouldn't you say? Would you guys say that? Mm -hmm, yeah. Is his left foot in the air? Yes or no? Oh, I yeah, it is. Didn't oh, I just teach you that? Yeah. yeah. Okay, and look how he finishes. 
It's his right foot in the air. Oh, haha, <laughs> that's cool. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Didn't I just teach you that? Oh, wow. So watch. He's like this. He's here. And how does he finish? <laughs> Exactly what I just showed you. And that's what I mean. Everything that I'm teaching you guys is exactly the way the pros are hitting the ball. This is uh, that other shot, high ball strike zone. Right here, look at the arm. Now, where's the contact point on that? Is he hitting that below the chin, above the chin? Below. Right below the chin. So we never want to go above chest, but never above the chin. Now, look at the arm. Look at the extension of the arm. Fully extended at contact. His hair looks cool. I know. I won't mind it. That high ball strike zone. That's the high ball strike zone right there, isn't it? So you don't want to go any higher than that for the high ball. Definitely don't want to go higher than that for the high ball. <clears throat> okay. Look at that shot. Dude, that's in like yeah. that's a hopscotch. Now, <laughs> what's this position called right there? Um, Gordon, I taught you that. What's that called? Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. It's a... Can I see your racket, sweetie? Yeah. This is called tracking, tracking position. Tracking. Look, see how he's tracking the ball to a string? Tracking. Setting the face. Okay. All pros track. Where'd you get that Asian one? Oh, I went to China and I, I stopped in Okinawa Airport. You went to and China? Bought the, yeah, and bought a bought the Japan tennis nice. magazine. Yeah, and, uh, at the airport. Oh, that's okay. cool. Here's so open cool, stance yeah. again. Can you see how all his weights here? But um, oh, he's not shifted on that one yet. This arm's fully parallel to the baseline. Yeah, you guys, parallel to the baseline. The left arm. Yes or no? Okay, parallel to the baseline.